Okay, uh, obviously a uh, disappointing loss. Uh, congratulations to Georgia. They got a good team. They played well. Uh, they beat us in all three phases tonight. Uh, special teams wise, uh, you know, the fumble punt I thought was a big play in the game. I think they scored right after that. Uh, we had the uh, running in the kicker. We tried to block a, a punt, came close right there, got him getting the ball. And I believe they scored points after that. Offensively, uh, you know, we would have first downs, we'd have holding penalties, bring it back. Uh, started third quarter, had I think two two drops back to back that kind of hurt some momentum. And defensively, you know, we had trouble stopping their run, which we knew they were going to be a strong running team. And uh, you know, they wore us down in you know, that third and fourth quarter. Questions? Does it look like you guys had problems with the line of scrimmage with just outplaying you up front? Well, yeah, I mean, they, they, they uh, I think they won. I think it's fair to say they won the line of scrimmage. And, uh, you know, that's disappointing. When was the last time you've had a game as you know, bothersome and frustrating for you as a play caller when nothing seemed to be working those last three quarters? Yeah, I mean, we, we, did, we, did, we didn't get it done offensively. I think that's obvious. Uh, you know, they're a good defense. Uh, at the same time, you know, we have, we have a little higher expectations. And uh, we just didn't get it done. That have so many you know, special teams, you know, miscues, not just yeah. fumbles, but short lines, some of that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah there's no doubt. We, 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 got, we got beat decisively from the special teams uh, area tonight. You know, I'm really close. Guys, the past defense has been an issue for the past several weeks, but tonight you allow the most rushing yards under you as a head coach. Why has this defense regressed over the last five weeks? Well, I mean, we played a very good uh, running team tonight. I think that's the biggest factor. They were one of the best teams in the country running the football, and they got their, uh, their star running back back. I think they have a lot to do with it. Yes, with Sanford coming up, is it time to maybe reassess certain positions or certain things? Well, I mean, you know, anytime you, you get beat conventionally, I mean, you know, as head coach, you know, you're going to try to solve um, you know, the issues that you think you need to moving forward. So. You know, we just got to be big boys. I mean, we got a hand to us tonight, and uh, you know that's that's uh, uncharacteristic. And uh, so we got to bounce back. How tough is that to kind of admit? Kind of got the hand to you as a big boy. How difficult is it to admit? It's pretty tough. If you're competitor, it's tough. I don't like it. Because when the expectations were so high heading into this season, coming off of last year, to now be out of the race in the West. And likely out of the playoffs. Yeah, all, you know, all you can do is control what you have moving forward. I mean, we're disappointed we got beat uh, tonight. You know, we expect to play better. We didn't. <coughs> uh, you know, in college football, you got to go on the next week. And, uh, you know, think about, think about, you know, Auburn and why I'm here. We're going to have high expectations. And, uh, you know, that's just the way it's going to go. You're disappointed when you don't reach some of your goals. And uh, that's part of it. We're always going to have high expectations. Sometimes you're going to beat them, sometimes you're not. Yes, you talked about going this week and somebody to step up in a spot and make some catches in the middle. Y'all really struggled with that. Yeah, we did. You know, we had a couple drops there in the third quarter, you know, coming out of halftime. I thought, you know, I think our defense stopped them right there, got us the ball back. And, uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't put any points and didn't get any momentum going. I thought that was big. And then we had to hold the penalty right there. You know, we got a first down and it just kind of, you know, shooting ourselves in the foot offensively uh, a lot tonight. Is it surprising to you how the team reacted once Georgia started getting things going? Because we've seen this team re respond yeah. to adversity, but it yeah. seems the last, this game especially, it just didn't happen. I'd say probably this is the first time it didn't happen. I mean, we responded last week. We just didn't get done at the very end. But uh, you know, we played a good team. I mean, give those guys credit. They're, they're a really good team. They're playing at home. They got their store back. We knew we were going to have to play well to beat them. I mean, we thought we would play well, but, but we didn't, but they had something to do with it. Uh, no, that, there weren't any surprises. I mean, we, we had an idea of you know, what we'd get, and uh, they did it. They executed pretty well. I uh, thought they were very physical up front. Um, I thought they were fast defense, too. How, how concerning is just punt return right now, a fumble and just not getting a lot of good returns here of late? Well, you know, I think we were leading the lead the best in the country of punt return going into this punt return going into this game. And, um, you know, that, was, that was a big play in the game that they thought about. Can you share some of your message to the team holding out? Yeah, just, we got to be big boys. We got whipped tonight. Uh, we got beaten in all three phases. And, uh, it's kind of 
take responsibility, got to learn from it, and uh, bounce back.